He needs some milk! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, It's Not Cahoots Mate, it's my own channel, um, Dave Chungus. Uh, I've been away for so long, um, not that anyone has noticed or probably cares, but uh, I've started my own channel um, and my first video is going to be just a little unboxing kind of thing. Um, because I've been after GameCube games recently. Um, well, I say recently, I've been after them for a long time. Um, I have just like a little, little haul that I thought I'd unbox on camera. So I've got something to post up and, you know, people like these things. Um, so I've got three lots here. <coughs> First lot is just some random ones I bought off eBay. This one, not necessarily a heavy hitter, but one I've been after in good condition for quite a while. And the last lot, I thought we'd see what buying a bunch of GameCube games in 2022 off Music Magpie is like. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, can really tell the packaging is awful, um, but we'll leave that to last. I'll put that there, shaky camera. Um, I've pre-opened the boxes, I haven't looked at them yet, but I've opened the boxes. So I suppose we'll start off with the eBay lot. I think there was five games in here there should be. So we'll put them out and have a look. Alright, first one is Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. Not a Harry Potter person, but you know, for the collection, it is complete. These weren't necessarily expensive, these were just, you know, random ones that I thought would uh, fit well. Cheap, you know, shelf filler. Um, second one is WWE Day of Reckoning. Um, unfortunately, without a manual. Um, both have been in good condition so far. Well, perfect disc. Um, I know this is the cheaper one. Day of Reckoning 2 is the expensive one. So that is on my list. Um, next one is another WWE game. I've actually not played this one before and I wanted, I've wanted to play this for years. Uh, WWE Crush Hour. This is the really dumb, twisted metal style WWE game where every wrestler has a car and you know they fight each other and blow each other up. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. And these ones go not only in my GameCube collection but also in my Shrek collection. Um, so Colin, if you're watching this, I'm sure you'll appreciate it. So this one is. Shrek Extra Large. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. It looks like an action adventure kind of game. It is good condition. It is complete. And the next one I already have on the PS2, but we need it on the GameCube. Is Shrek Super Slam. Again, complete. Good condition what I like to see. Um, now actually for, for this video I was going to go into, well I did go into my local CEX because I was just going to pick up some shovel, shovelware, shelfware, that kind of stuff, the cheap things. Um, but I'll insert the footage here. As you can see it is not empty as such but someone had gone in and wipe the place clean of all of the cheaper titles. So all that was left was the more expensive ones that I weren't quite after yet. Although this one here that has come out of this very well packaged eBay puzzle is Super Smash Bros. Melee. 
I have very fond memories of this game growing up. And it is hard, well it's been hard for me anyway, to find a good complete version that's not the player's choice version. So this is complete, it's very nice, great condition. That is an excellent addition to my collection there. So that's a nice little stack so far. Okay, onto the you shake it in. Onto the music magpie. Um I suppose you don't know, music magpie are I suppose a little bit like CEX in a way. Um, you send in your old phones, your games and they give you money for it, but it's all done online. <coughs> um, so they sell a lot of pre-owned games. They know the prices of their stuff, so some, I actually um, managed to find a coupon code for this, so I've got all these at a decent price. Um, I just haven't checked the condition yet of them, or whether they're complete or not. The first one is Minority Report, Everybody Runs. That is complete. This is in very good shape. Not too bad at all. And next to be Hale. Let me try and get these together. Right. And next we have X-Men 2, Wolverine's Revenge. Looks like this was an X cash converters game. I did not pay $9.99 for it. Um, that's all kinds of upside down, that's random. And the disc has been put in backwards. Uh, a few surface scratches, but not too bad. Complete. Let's just switch that around, shall we? Again, not played this one. The only Wolverine game I played is the one that was on the PS3 and that was really good. So I'm not sure what this one's like, but that's cool. Next up we have Die Hard Vendetta. Uh, which is a first person shooter, wasn't it? The case is in good condition. It's complete. <clears throat> but for some reason the disc is backwards again. I don't know why they keep doing that. I don't know if it's worth it so they can check the condition of it or what. But that is a nice condition disc. It's complete, so I'm happy. These were fairly cheap, to be honest. Um, a lot cheaper than a lot of bidding ones I've seen, especially this next one. So, Star Wars Rogue Leader, um, Rogue Squadron 2. This, I've been watching it go for around 15 quid uh, bidding, but this one I found for, I think it was a fiver on their site. Um, complete, again, case is in good nick. Disc isn't backwards, but disc is bloody perfect, blimey. I'm impressed, I think I might order from these again. But yeah, another, another good one, solid title to have. Next one is Clone Wars. Um, complete. The disc is backwards. But this is very good. Blimey, I'm impressed with this. <coughs> really impressed. And last but not least, kind of the bigger hitter. It's not big, it's. Yeah. Um, so when I was bidding for this one, originally from another seller this was going for around 20 pounds and I found it on Music Magpie for just over 10 or I think it was and that is Star Fox Adventures not everyone's favourite Star Fox game but uh, you know mainly because it was a third person action game but this game really showed off what the GameCube could do. Like this is probably the best looking game on the GameCube. 
Um, I believe it ran at a solid 60 frames per second, 60 or 30, something like that. It's really good. That has got everything in there. Manuals, posters, catalog. And the disc is fantastic. Wow, I'm honestly really impressed with that. Um, blimey. Yeah, so if you're thinking of ordering a music mode by, definitely go ahead because you know I've ordered this stack of games from them and they've all been complete, all been really good condition. Um, yeah, that's a nice, a nice stack of games to add to the collection. Um, I'm thinking of doing a pickups video because. I'm not just going to be doing video games on this channel, I'm going to try and be doing toys and everything like that as well, just what I like doing. Um, so at some point I'm going to do pick up so far this year video or something, since me and Colin done the last one on Cahoots Mate, or we've both had more since then. Don't worry, Cahoots Mate isn't going anywhere, me and Colin are still doing that, I just wanted to do something by myself. Um, but yeah. That's it. Um, I do thank you for watching if you do watch this. Um, I won't really be promoting it anywhere. I'm just going to put it on YouTube, see how it does. Um, but I'm going to try and make this GameCube collection thing a series. And maybe once it builds up quite more substantially, I can do a collection video or something I don't know anyway thank you for watching um this is Dave Chungus and I'm out of here laters